Hi, I'm Ken Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you scrolling in Reaper. Now, in the previous video, I showed you zooming, which is part of navigation, which is quite important for getting around and working with our project. Now, there's many different devices that we can use with our computer, whether it's a mouse, a trackpad, a trackball, but the most common is a mouse with a wheel or a trackpad. If you're using a laptop, so I'm going to consider both of those. Now to scroll horizontally, left and right, we can use Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and use the mouse wheel or the trackpad with two fingers going up and down. It looks like this. Going to the right and to the left. So as we go up, it goes to the right. As we go down, it goes to the left. Now we could also do that with Shift. Hold down Shift. Move the mouse wheel up or two finger trackpad up, it does the same thing. Going up goes to the right and moving down goes to the left. Now, if you're on a trackpad, you can also move left and right with two fingers. Go to the right or the left. And to see these actions, let's go to the action menu. Let's type in scroll. And right down over here are all the scrolling actions. The one I just showed you is right here. Shift the mouse wheel, or Option on the Mac, Alt on the PC mouse wheel, but we could also use the horizontal wheel, which is moving left and right using two fingers on a trackpad. Now, if you're not sure what we're doing or what's coming out of your device, you could always go down here to add a shortcut and just make a movement. So if I go up with my trackpad or my mouse wheel, it shows up right here. If I go side to side with my trackpad using two fingers, it's called a horizontal wheel, which is what shows up right here. So I can move left and right to get left and right scrolling. But we could also use a tool called multi-zoom. If you pinch out using two fingers, it shows up as multi-zoom. So we could use this as well. And by default, that's gonna zoom. And we can find that by hitting this button right here, find shortcut hit multi-zoom, and we can see it's already applied to horizontal zoom. So if I pinch out on my trackpad using two fingers, it's gonna zoom horizontally. In addition to the other actions I showed you in that video. But let's go back to scrolling, because that tool could be applied here as well. But let's move on to scrolling vertically, which is right here. On the PC, it's Control and Alt, and on the Mac, it's command and option and use the mouse wheel. So let's do that. And if we move down, it scrolls down. And if we move up, it scrolls up. Left and right, up and down. Very useful when combining it with zooming. Zoom here, move up and down, or left and right. Now we can reverse those keystrokes by going back to the actions. Right down over here under each one is the same action, but reversed. So if we wanted to scroll the opposite way, we could change it right here. So let's click on it, hit add. Let's use the horizontal wheel, which on my trackpad is two fingers going left to right. So if I choose that with the reverse function, now if I move to the right, the project moves to the right. Or if I move to the left, the project moves to the left. So it's the same function in reverse, where if I put it back over here, now if I move to the right, it scrolls to the left. Or if I move to the left, it scrolls to the right. So it's really a personal preference of how you see things, moving left and right within your project. And we could do the same thing for vertically scrolling. The one right here, we could choose this one instead. Let's give it the same keystroke. Now, if I move up with those modifiers, it moves down. Or if I move down, it scrolls up. 
So again, it's a personal preference, but you might find the reverse functionality more useful for you. So let's change that back. And now let's check out a few other keystrokes, which we can use to also scroll through our project. To scroll down, we can hit Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and use the arrow key down. In fact, we can use all the arrow keys with the same modifier. Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac. We can use this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let's try it. Hold down the modifier, arrow up, and it scrolls up a little bit at a time, or down, or right, or left. So if you prefer keys, instead of using your mouse, we can use these keystrokes. And where that really gets handy is using a keystroke I showed you in the previous video on zooming. Let's select this track here for snare, hold on shift and hit the tilde key. That makes that track full height. So now we can use scrolling with our keys to scroll down one track at a time to quickly see what each track is doing. So hit the down arrow, I can go to my overheads, my room mics, bass DI, an amp, guitar one and two, and my vocal. And go up and do the same thing. One track at a time, but full height. That's a pretty good use for using the keystrokes versus your mouse or your trackpad. Now another cool way of scrolling through our project is using the hand scroll. If you move the cursor up to the top, not in the ruler, but in the region or the marker lanes up here, it turns to a hand. Then we can just grab it and scroll like that. Let's zoom in a bit more. Do the same thing. Go up here and we can hand scroll and pull our project from left to right. It's very handy and it also can be adjusted in the mouse modifiers. So let's go down to mouse modifiers and right over here is our rule marker region lanes. And we can see right here is the default action, hand scroll, which is what we were just doing. But if you add in on the PC control on the Mac command, we could also horizontally zoom by moving up and down right here. Check it out. So if I hold that modifier, I can still hand scroll like this. But if I go up and down, I could also zoom. So it's pretty easy to navigate around your project. Zoom into this kick right here, or back out using just that function. But we could also add that to other contexts. Let's go back to the mouse modifiers. And we can add the same thing to our ruler right here. Let's add it to an unused modifier right here. Command on the PC or Control on the Mac. And right here, we could choose hand scroll, along with a few other options. But let's just choose this one. Now, if we hold that down, we can get the same behavior in the ruler. It turns to a hand tool and we can move it left and right. I should also mention in the actions menu, everything I've been showing you applies only to the track control panel or the arrangement view right here. But there are other sections you might want to customize and you have to do that separately. So up here, these are our sections. Right now we're using main, but we could also go over to the MIDI editor or the inline editor and change the defaults completely for scrolling and for zooming. So if you want to customize the way it works over here, you might want to do the same thing in your MIDI editor. Let's create a new track, hit a MIDI item, double click it, and this is our MIDI editor. So everything we do or change in here isn't going to apply over here. But if you want those same things, or if you want to customize them separately, you have to do it over here in the MIDI editor. And there's a few other sections to take a look at. Main while recording, Media Explorer, the event list, and the inline editor. But just keep that in mind that if you customize the main section, 
it's not going to apply to these other sections unless you customize those as well. So that's pretty much it. That's scrolling in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!